Well, that sounds like a plot from a fictional mystery story. Like most people, I love a good mystery, but I also want to eventually see the mystery get resolved. I want to know who did it and how. Well, currently there's a mystery that just never seems to end. Were people created by God or did we evolve from common ancestors all the way back to a primitive form of life? Well, this is a topic that I think about a lot. I do a fair amount of research and I love to talk to people about creation and evolution. I'm the director for Evidence Press. And we educate people about evidence for creation. When I get someone who's really interested in hearing the evidence that I have for creation, I often talk to them about the five levels of information in DNA. Do you want to know why? Keep watching. In this video, I'll be sharing the five levels of information as simply and clearly as I can. To help me do that, you'll see comments from Michael Clemens, a computer specialist and programmer. You'll also hear from Dr. Daniel Moran, who has a PhD in molecular biology from Athens, Ohio University. Now, I'd like you to meet Michael Clemens. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate that our DNA is like an elaborate computer program. To walk us through that, we'll be talking with Dr. Daniel Moran, who holds a PhD in molecular and cellular biology. Information in DNA is a powerful argument for design, and I'd like to tell you why. Many skeptics simply deny that DNA is information, but the DNA code is more than a colloquial expression. DNA is an information code, and it is revealed in five levels. Fundamental to understanding programming is understanding the nature of information. Information theorist Dr. Werner Gitt, in his book titled In the Beginning Was Information, says that information, wherever it is found, is in five levels. Statistics, the first level of information, is primarily about numbers. In a computer program, it might be size, color, or quantity. In the script that I've written here, statistical information would be the number of times BR appears in the script. DNA is filled with statistical data. Let me provide a few examples. First, codons are made up of three nucleic acids. Second, specific genes have a specific number of codons. Third, Genomes also consist of a specific number of genes. Fourth, the more complex organisms have a specific number of chromosomes. These are just a few examples of statistical data in DNA. Let me remind you that evolution is a mindless, non-intelligent process. It has no ability to count, and it does not know when the number is right or wrong. For example, natural causes could not know the correct number of nucleic acids for a particular gene. It is not logical for natural causes, which have no intelligence, to produce intelligence. In the case of the cell, the non-intelligence of natural causes would have to produce unfathomable novel information. Syntax is the second level of information, and it's about rules. In the English language, it's words separated by spaces. It's sentences that begin with a capital letter and end with a period. In the script example that I've written, it's paragraphs that begin with a P and end with a slash P. DNA also makes use of syntax. As I already mentioned, codons are made up of three nucleic acids. That is a rule. It is never two, or four, or seven. It is always three nucleic acids. Another rule of DNA code is that each gene is bookended by start and stop codons. This is like our English sentences, which begin with a capital letter and end with a period. I must repeat for emphasis, evolution has no mind or intelligence. It has no ability to make rules, understand rules, or apply rules. So the evidence of syntax in DNA infers design. Some skeptics suggest that the four nucleic acids bind naturally to form the code, but they don't. If they did bind naturally, the nucleic acids would just repeat over and over and over with no message. No, DNA is a code, and our experience tells us that code comes from intelligent code makers, not natural causes. So let me be clear. DNA is a complex code that conforms to rules. The third level of information is semantics. 
and it's about meaning. The word love has a different meaning depending on the context that it's used. In my programming example, the left caret, P, right caret, indicates the start of a paragraph. The left caret, slash, P, right caret, indicates the end of a paragraph. The browser interprets everything in between those as text. The DNA code also conforms to semantics. We know DNA is a messaging system because normal cells are good for us, while cancer cells are not. Mutations distort the messaging. When the meaning of the code gets garbled, one possible result is cancer. Lymphoma, for example, produces out-of-control white blood cells. They are abnormal cells, and they don't die when they should. Since evolution has no mind or intelligence, it does not know anything about messaging. Though the human genome has been mapped, the messaging, or semantics in DNA, is a long way from being completely understood. In fact, 20 years ago, the human genome was thought to be 98.5% evolutionary leftovers, otherwise known as junk DNA. But now we know that the vast majority of the human genome is functional, yet we're just beginning to understand its meaning. Maybe you've heard of the new controversy. DNA is so complex, scientists are now learning that multiple messages can be derived from within a single gene. They are called duons, for example. One gene may provide a message for producing a protein, and the same gene might be used to turn switches on in another gene. The extreme complexity of semantics in DNA makes no sense from a natural cause point of view, where no intelligence exists. The messages in DNA clearly point to an intelligent author. The fourth level of information is action or application. In my script, the action of the script is to display a photo on the left side of the browser. And we can see that's what's happening. It's the photo, it's aligned to the left, and the photo is displayed on the left side of the browser. We have known for a long time that DNA is the messaging system used to produce proteins. The message in DNA does something real. It produces proteins. Evolutionists try to simulate organisms evolving through computer programs. They may use algorithms in a program to simulate natural selection, but the algorithms still have to be designed. The simulations do nothing in the real world. It is simply a program on a computer. In contrast, DNA works in a nanoscale, high-tech world. A molecular machine runs along the DNA strand, taking in random nucleic acids. These are assembled into a specific messenger RNA molecule, while other machines use error detection and correction processes for ensuring accuracy in the copying process. The messenger RNA is then transported from the nucleus to a two-part machine called a ribosome. Here it is converted or transcribed from the coded message of the RNA into a specific arrangement of amino acids, which after assembly becomes a protein. Then the protein is chaperoned often to a barrel-shaped machine to get folded. Multiple machines made of proteins are involved in building proteins. Machines absolutely infer design. So yes, the DNA message produces action. It produces proteins. And all these machines used in making the protein, they are made of proteins. If there was no designer, how did those protein machines get assembled before the first proteins evolved? Since it takes hundreds of proteins to create a protein, it's not logical that natural causes could produce the first protein. Whenever we have information, it appears in five levels. The fifth level is purpose. We can see from the simple script that I've written that its purpose is to display an image on the left-hand side of the browser. What is the purpose of the DNA message? It is to produce life. Life cannot exist or reproduce without DNA. Yes, all five levels of information are clearly seen in DNA. Yes, DNA is a code. It is a messaging system. DNA was designed. I'd like to provide one more illustration in closing. Have you ever heard of the Kinesian protein motor? It's amazing. It, it looks like a cartoon character as it walks along the microtubules. 
The Kinesian motor has a job to carry a specific bag of proteins to a specific location in the cell. The journey is long and even hazardous. It requires detailed instructions. I think it's an understatement to say that the activities in the cell are the most complex processes known to humanity. So we must ask, where did all this detailed, super complex information in DNA actually come from? In other words, does the data we observe point to natural causes, or does it better point to a design cause? When given a choice, I think most people will admit that the answer is design. Evidence Press would like to hear from you. Leave your comments. Click on subscribe to join the Evidence Press channel. Learn more by going to evidencepress.com.